Ms. Kinsey, I'm going to start with you. When were you and the plaintiff divorced? 2005, Your Honor. October 2005. And when were you married? June of 1993. You have some children. How many? Two. How old are they? 17, both. They're twins. When you divorced in 2005, according to the complaint that I read, your former husband ultimately bought a home right next to your, where you were living with the twins. He moved in with my, my mother who lived mm -hmm. next, he moved in with my mother who lived next door. So that he could be close to the children? That's correct. And how long mm -hmm. did he live there from 2005 to when? He lived in my house after we were divorced from 2005 to 2012 in our guest bedroom. And then he moved out of my house in 2012 and moved in with my mother until about March of 2015. 14. And after you divorced, and he lived in your house for a substantial period of time, seven years, he had a bunch of tools that were his that were put in a tool shed. Put in a tool shed? A so, shop that I built, yes. Tool shop. When did you build the tool shop? Approximately 2001. You're so that it was 2007. So he built it after the divorce? Yes, ma'am. With your permission? Yes, ma'am. To house his tools? No, ma'am. It was, it was a shop that was built for, like, it holds cars and everything. I mean, it was a garage. She never parked a car. Just enough. a second. Don't play with me. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Don't play with me. He built a shop. You may have parked a car in there. Yes. Or somebody may have, but he had his tools in there. Yes, there were tools stored well, in there. He yes. had his tools in there with which he potted around, fixed things, did things that had to be done. Were you involved in carpentry or was it just? Uh, my general? father and I ran a well drilling company. Um, a lot of those tools were my father's that he had given me to run the company. And so they were stored so, in there. And you built the shed. Yeah. Now, was this home owned by you two as a couple before the divorce? Uh, when we were divorced, she signed it over into her name. Who did? Previously, Mary did. Signed it over to whose name? The house was in her name when we were divorced. Yes, I understand that. Before you were divorced. When she originally purchased the house, it was under both of our names. Right, but when you were divorced, you signed it over and it became her home. Correct. Okay, and it was your agreement that you live in the home for that seven year period, is that correct? Yeah, there was no timeline given. He was just agreed that he could stay there, yes, until and he got he a place of his own. That's fine, and then he moved next door with your mother and he was there till 2014. Yes, ma'am and the tools remained in the shed. Yes, ma'am. That he built. When for the first time, Ms. Kinsey, pay careful attention to okay. my question. When for the first time did you send him an email, a letter, a notice that you wanted the tools removed from your property? I never sent them. He gets his tools back. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, no problem. Perfect. Within five days, sir. Yes, ma'am. And you know, you came here under certain circumstances with certain agreements. That's all on hold until he gets his equipment back. Do okay. you understand? Yes, ma'am. Great, because there was no reason for you to withhold his equipment and for you to say, now it's mine, he abandoned it. Under the circumstances when he lived in your home for seven years and moved then next door with your mother to then cop an attitude and say, well, he abandoned them, now they're mine, which is what you wrote in your answer. They're my tools. They weren't your tools. You had an agreement with him. And if you wanted to change that agreement, it was your obligation to send him a notice that your tools are no longer welcome in my house. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Now let's deal with your countersuit. Pursuant to the judgment of divorce, Mr. Kinney, are you required to pay for half of your children's sports costs? Yes, ma'am, that's correct. And over the years, while well, you were living in the same home as your former wife, did you pay those? Yes, those were paid, yes. Did there come a time when you stopped paying those costs? Um, when I moved out and I no longer gave her my money, I needed that money to pay my bills. Okay, when you moved out of the house? Correct. Which is in what year? 2012. Before 2012, you were living in the home and helping support the home? Correct. Then you moved next door, for whatever reason, you moved next door with her mother? Correct. Were you paying rent at her mother's house? Uh, no, ma'am, I was just helping pay for groceries and stuff like that. In 2014, you moved into your own place? I moved in with my girlfriend, correct. Are you still there? Yes, ma'am. When for the first time, Ms. Kinsey, did you make a demand and give him notice and an invoice of what the children's sports costs were? Um, your Honor, in 2012, when he moved... I'm not going back to 2012. I was just going to tell you, that between 2012 and 2014, when he was living with my mother, he also paid 50% of the sports I at understand. that time. 